y'all welcome back to another video um so this week's video is going to be kind of it's going to be like my i guess you could say beef with united airlines let me start off by saying number one i really don't even like to fly i hate flying now i prefer to drive my feet are on the ground it's safer i could at least control the vehicle I hate flying because I hate my feet being off the ground and I'm not the one driving the vehicle. So, this is why you don't see me as a pilot or a flight attendant because I don't like to fly. And if I'm not controlling it, and even if I am controlling it, I still don't like my feet being off the ground like that. And secondly, again, I just don't like flying and I don't like somebody else being in control of where this how the vehicle is i'd rather somebody drive than fly me somewhere let's, let's just start the video so number one period um like i said i don't like united airlines at all like at all now when i tell these different stories they're probably going to be out of order because i don't remember what happened first i just remember each instance that it happened so yeah so pretty much, um, the one of the main issues um, amongst all of these flights, Loki, is the same thing. Every time I get on one of these planes, these pilots don't know how to land for everlasting shit. Like, I have never been on a United Airlines plane where either the takeoff or the landing was both great. No, one of them always was bad or both of them was bad. Like, I'm like, how the hell, who, where did you get your pilots from? Why is it, why the hell am I always having an issue with y'all landing or taking off? Like, what is that? What, what the hell is that? Please let me know. So, yeah, and leave a comment down below on, you know, if you have issues with landing or if it, or may, maybe I'm just overreacting, but I just, some, I just had good landings and if I don't have those kinds of landings every time, I have a problem. It's a bad landing to me, and I freak that out. So, like, if you ever see me on a plane, and you and we're landing, if you look at my face, my face, like, first of all, because half the time on a plane, I'm gonna have my headphones on and I'm gonna try to sleep, cause I just want to sleep through the flight. I don't, I don't want to know what happens. So I'm just gonna. My head just gonna be back. I may or may not be snoring. If I snore, you're on the plane with me. I apologize now. But yeah. So I'll be like this with my headphones on. If I feel the wrongest thing, my face will open up. Like what the fuck? I just be like, what the Or or if it's not like a lot of people on the plane, or even sometimes even if it is a lot of people on the plane, I just do. Like, you'll just see me do a whole wake up. I'll just be like, or I'll just grab something really tight. Because I don't like it. Okay, let's just get into these instances of why I cannot stay in United Airlines. So, for the most part, I've taken United Airlines planes because they've been the cheaper flights. Now, what, okay, so the first real issue I had with United Airlines is the time they lost my luggage. Like, I was coming home from I forgot where I don't know if it was from California or if I was coming back home from DC um, either way they lost my luggage and I'm like first of all because I had I had had to switch a flight mind you my flight kept getting delayed because number one they didn't even say the the whole the um, the airplane was there for real for real all right so I had checked my bags in they told me this plane kept getting delayed. I was on a time schedule because number one, I wasn't getting back home anyways till like 12 midnight. So I had, I had switched my flight and it was a direct flight because if I didn't switch before my flight had a connecting flight. So I was going through Newark airport. Um, I think it, I think that's in Jersey. I'm not sure. And then I would be coming straight to Indy from there. So there was a direct flight to Indy. So here's where my issue lies, mind you. 
I'm like, no, why is there? Okay, so I'm like, all right, just switch my flight. That's fine. You ask for my luggage information. Like you act like they, you know how they give you like those little stickers or those little cards when you check your bags. I gave him those to make, and I think he said that's just to make sure that your luggage gets there or whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm like, good, 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 good. So my the new flight was like 30 minutes past the time that I actually my flight was delayed mind you this is when my flight was delayed they didn't ha I don't even think they had a set time which is why I switched the flight and they were saying that you may not be able to catch your flight till tomorrow and I was just like no this is not gonna work I need to be back by tonight so I can get to work in the morning so they had lost my luggage and I was over it like Luckily, I was already staying in a hotel, but at this end, I just lived like an hour down the road because I have to drive an hour to get to the airport. But <clears throat> I was just like, what? So when I found out they had let, like my luggage is sitting at Newark Airport, like they told me that's where my luggage was. But because I didn't check, I would I didn't check in at Newark, and I'm all I'm already in Indy. I was just like, well, of course I'm already in Indy. I already told them like we switched this flight. My luggage shouldn't have even been on the plane. Like why did that even happen? So I'm just like, okay, whatever, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just sitting there, over it, and I mean over it day waiting in the water day so i drive to the hotel i'm pissed so pretty much i start ranting on instagram about the fact that they had lost my luggage because i was pissed so that was my first instance where me and united did not get irritated yes i got my luggage back they drove it down here the next day but at the same time i should not have to they should not be having to do that. Like the next instance is when they had overbooked the flight or whatever. I have never heard of some dumb, the dumbest stuff in my life. Like, how do you overbook a flight? You know how many flight attendants are going to be on this plane. You know how big the plane is, and you know how many seats are in this plane. That's like s selling over the amount for a concert. But like, you know what the capacity is. You know how many tickets you're allowed to sell. Like, what? That doesn't make sense. So I'm sitting here because apparently if you got basic economy or some type of crap like that, you got to be, you. I might have to have my flight changed. Trust and believe if my flight had to be changed, I'm breaking all hell loose up in that airport because all my flights are scheduled to the letter. I have a time schedule. Once my flight is booked, I book everything around that. So I plan everything around my flights. I was so over it. And I mean over, done, goodbye, sayonara, tired as hell from that bullshit. I was checking back in every five minutes. Did y'all figure this out? Did y'all figure this out? Finally somebody gave up their flight, their their seat for their flight because they got some reward out of that. I honestly didn't care because I, I don't like taking United Airlines. So I'm just like, okay, fuck it, screw it, goodbye. Anyway, moving on. Like... Yeah, I was just over it. I was over that. But that was the next instance. Like I said, mind you, with all of this, I'm already having bad flights. Because these people don't know how to land a plane. Some of them don't know how to take off. But, and then the final straw with me with fucking United Airlines. So, this is Christmas time. And I was planning to fly my dog out. Like, legit, fly my dog out. So, you have to book, like, a month. Like, you can only book, like, a month ahead of time for to have the dog go. Because they got to go through cargo. Because my dog's not small enough to go through. Um, yeah, my dog's not small enough to go on the plane with me unless I make her uh, one of those animals. And I was just like, okay, they're probably going to really strict with those laws, too, after the peacock. Uh, uh, emotional support animals. That's what it is. After the peacock, I would I would be more strict on uh, them pets. So I was just like, uh, -uh. but anyways, anyways, moving on 
to the story. Um, so I had booked the, this thing and I was having issues with the site. So I just called the people. They're just like, no problem. We'll just book it here. And I'm like, okay. So she gives me all the information that I need. And I'm like, okay, thank you. Everything's set up. I just need to bring the dog to the airport and do all the paperwork stuff that they told me to do. So, so I'm just asking her, what is the documentation that I specifically need? No, I don't care what else, who else said this, that, and the third. What is the documentation that I need? So she's still asking for this, sir. I can't help you without this number, this, 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 and this number. And then she just called, then, um, then after I find all this information, she's like, oh, okay, sir, here, yeah, you need to turn this in, this in, and this in five days prior to, yeah, you need to turn this, this, and this in five days prior to the, um, to your dog being shipped. And I'm like, are you, like, I was thinking in my head the whole time, are you dumb or are you stupid? I'm pretty sure this is standard procedure that all the, the paperwork everybody needs to fill out before anybody, you know, before anybody goes on a plane. I mean, like, before they have to ship out anything. These are the common procedures if you're shipping out a pet. These are the paperwork and stuff that you need to ship out your pet. There's nothing specific to my pet that should have to be sent out. So I was over her. I, like, I started yelling at her at work on the phone and because I, I was I was done. I was I was completely over the bitch. Like she was she got on my everlasting nerve. So anyways, the next part of this and this was the key thing that irritated me. So when I got off the phone with her, I asked her specifically, is there anything else that I need to fill out after I'm done with this? Like after all of this is sent in, is there anything I need to do? Like anything specific I need to do after this? She said, no, just make sure you bring your dog to the airport two hours before the flight. That's it. All right day comes where I have to go to the airport. Mind you, I'm flying out of Cincinnati, which is an hour and a half of, from where I live. So I fly out of, so I go, I drive all the way to Cincinnati. I get there with my dog bright spanking early because my flight was early in the morning. I, I would have, because I was going to DC. So I was just like, okay, I mean, I'm getting there bright eyed and bushy tailed anyways, because my flight leaves at 10, her flight leaves at 12. My dog is a herd. Um, so I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll be there like four hours ahead of time anyways, because I'm going to be there four hours ahead of my flight, two hours ahead of my flight anyways. So I'm like, perfect, great, right? I get to that airport. I bring my dog over. They ask you, do you have her shot records and stuff like that? I'm like, no, because I was not aware that I needed to send these in, like bring these with me. Like, I'm pretty sure I had to send in like her shot records or something like that with all the other stuff that I had to send in. But they didn't tell me I needed anything besides to bring my dog there. I'm assuming all these records are in the filing system on the computer that they could just whip it out and pull it up because... I need to have, one of the things I needed to have was the vet sign off on like if she's had all her shots and all of that, which kind of makes me mad because I'm like, that really made me mad because I'm like, so what was the point of me getting the certificate of health? Because that's part of the certificate of health. The doctor checks all the animal shot records and making sure that they're in good health. So I'm confused why we have this certificate of health if you still need to see the list of the shot records your dad wants out for your files. Like, I was so done. Just done. Because, okay, and this is why I was done. Because I was, I was like, complaining. I was calling up my mother because that's who I was going to visit. So I'm just like, I'm just ready to just drive down there. She's just like, well, because you don't get a refund on the ticket, let's just try to see what you can do. So I drive all the way back down here. I was able to make it in time because they were they moved my flight. Not that they had a choice because I would have blew up a whole scene up in there if the, if something if they didn't work something out. So I drove down there, drove all the way back, made it here, dropped my dog off with all the paperwork. They taking five, 
they taking 50 plus years to do such. And then when I went to go take her back, smoother, just smooth process. I mean, mainly because I knew at that point, like I, what I needed to get, but whole time still, that's, that's bullshit. If I ask, you should have told me that. So that's number one. And then, so, but when I get back, right? Now I knew her flight was supposed to land late. But why did it take them five years to get her out? Like her plane landed, landed at 11. I didn't get her till one o'clock in the morning. Like, why am I just now getting the doll when your cargo plane landed at freaking one in the morning? I mean, 11, 1130. I can understand. All right. 30 minutes. That's that's the they need to unload the plane and all of that. Like, and when I say when I say landed, I mean, like you landed, you docked all of that. They told me the, the plane docked at 1130. All right. By 12 o'clock, I should have my dog. No, I did not get my dog till like 1, 1 I was over the whole situation. Like, why did it take that long for you to get my dog? Please explain. But after that, I was just done with United Airlines. Plus, that flight was one of the shittier flights that I've had, too, for myself. So, I'm just like, okay. After that, I told myself, I will never be doing United Airlines ever again. And my, the last flight I did, I took American. I, I paid the extra money because I'm not doing it. But yeah, well, no, actually, that's a f flight I'm planning. I just take United off my checklist because they're not going to be able to. They're, they're not flying me anymore. So to everybody out there, United Airlines is crap. Don't ever fly with them. They are pathetic and they can't fly planes. And they'll lose your luggage, overbook your ticket and make you take another flight. And they're the most unorganized people when it comes to cargo. Uh, leave a comment. So that's the end of this video. Leave a comment down below. On is there any airlines that you've had a bad experience with? Is there any, if you've had a bad experience with United Airlines, just like me, please leave a comment down below. And you know what? We're going to use the hashtag fuck United. There we go. It's like I'm joking. Like, I mean, if y'all want to use that, I will gladly start the trend. But I'm not going to do it if this, not gonna, if this isn't going to trend. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, anyways, like I said, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.